So Power Rangers Beast Morphers Season 2 has returned from a 4 or 5 hyenas due to COVID-19. But we actually see Episode 9 right now, which we actually last seen where we saw Mary Daniels revealed as Evox, or Evox has taken over Devin's dad's body. So... We actually seen where the episode begins, where Commander Shaw has announced to the citizens of Corver, I'm sorry, Coral Harbor, that they'll shut down Morvex Towers because it will become a perfect decoy to draw Evox away, which means that they actually have fooled him. But they actually need to find a way to free Mayor Daniels from Evox. So, Nate decided to create a freeze arrow, which they tested on Ben and Betty's father's tuxedo, which they never thought it was their father's. But... Devin actually won't allow that to happen when they say it might be forever. So he actually going to find a way to save his father. So Evox heard the news and he actually orders Blaze and Roxy to find more effects. So Devin actually found files of Ranger history from past Power Ranger seasons where Ralphie actually saw this actually happened where Devin actually told him about a professor named Dr. K from Power Rangers RPX and we actually saw her talking about Dylan who actually became half cyborg but he was actually free so we actually knew that if he can get her help then she can help him free his dad. So we actually knew that Evox sent in a Robotron to get the armored truck full of Morphex named Bulldozertron, in which Bulldozertron is actually stopping the trucker. However, the Rangers arrive, they morph, and actually take care of Bulldozertron, while Blaze and Roxy actually came and actually fight Nate and Steel. However, Steel destroyed the trucker and the army as well, and the Rangers had defeated Bulldozertron. However, we actually knew that Tower 5 is full of more effects and is unguarded, which Squazzo actually heard about it, so they actually knew that, they, that he took the bait. So they actually going to use the new Megasword combination with a Gigadroid named Bulldozer Droid actually appeared. However, they actually received a message from Dr. K, which we seen her back as well, which she told Devin that there's no way of helping him. However, she did mention about the Ranger team, which from Power Rangers Dino Supercharge that they created devices called Splitimeters, which they will actually be useful to split Evox and Mayor Daniels apart, which the Splitimeters actually was used to split Cellarwing and Doomwing together. They were actually apart. However, they actually went to a Ranger storage where we actually seen Easter egg of Ranger items from past seasons in which we actually saw them finding the split emitters while the new Megazord combination the B-Sex King Megazord actually appeared to take care of Bulldozer Droid and they defeated it in which Evox is actually on Tower 5 and they rather use the arrow but he reflected it but we saw Devin appear, and when he uses Mayor Daniels to distract Devin, we actually saw the split emitters 
appear and use it on him. So we actually seen the separation of Mayor Daniels and Evox actually happens, in which we actually knew that Devin had his dad back, in which we actually knew that Evox had to return and actually fail. So now everything is all right, and tower, the Morphex Towers have actually returned normal. But we actually knew at the end, Betty, Ben, and the General will have to get his suit back in a hilarious way when they're using Slithermitters to actually switch places and actually switching clothes. So, a perfect way to bring back Season 2. However, we actually seen Easter eggs of many weapons and morphers from past Power Rangers seasons, and of course the return of Dr. K for Power Rangers RPX. And now I'm actually enjoying this episode because we've seen the Easter eggs and references to past seasons. So I'm actually excited to see that, and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment or you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy joining here saying sign out. Laters, and be safe.